Springs Tigers from Rock Springs High School. Have you checked out the most awesome Ford store in Eastern Idaho? We've been around for years. And we've got top awards in the region for customer service and satisfaction. We're Caribou Ford in Soda Springs. Right now, we have the best inventory around and more on the way. Or you can custom order your new car or truck just the way you like it. We're Caribou Ford with the famous warranty forever. And we're still keeping it simple in Soda Springs. Simplot Smoky Canyon Mine is proud to be a large part of the Star Valley community. The mine supports local families with jobs and opportunities. Smoky Canyon Mine is a major supporter of community projects. Not to mention the phosphate ore that comes from the mine helps farmers and ranchers around the nation put high quality products on your kitchen table. Simplot Smoky Canyon Mine, bringing Earth's resources to life. To learn more, visit Simplot.com. Star Valley Disposal and Royal Flush Septic have been serving the local community since 1999, including residential, commercial, and construction. Star Valley Disposal and Royal Flush Septic is your company for all of your trash needs, along with septic pumping and portable toilets. For the dependable company that has a proven trust and reliability, contact Star Valley Disposal and Royal Flush Septic at StarValleyDisposal.com. That's StarValleyDisposal.com. Your leader in local coverage of high school sports. This is the SVI Sports Network. Welcome to Star Valley High School as we get ready for this 4A West regional matchup between the Rock Springs Tigers and the Star Valley Braves. The Rock Springs Tigers will be in all white today while the Braves will be in their standard crimson trimmed in black. Here the Braves are coming off a loss on Thursday to Evanston as they fell in that match in Evanston 3-1. to one. They're looking to rebound and bounce back against the Rock Springs Tigers today on their home turf. Right now they're just going through the starting lineups for Rock Springs and then they'll go through the, the starting lineups for the Star Valley Braves. It's a beautiful day here in Star Valley with the sun out. A little bit breezy, but I imagine Rock Springs brought that with them from Sweetwater County. Here are the starters for the Braves. Number two, Caden Roberts. Number five, Grant Thompson. A senior, number 12, Jesus Allred. A junior, number 15, Brandon Flores. A sophomore, number 22, Christoph Bueller. A senior, number 23, Kai Hendricks. A senior, number 24, Jaden Crook. A senior, number 27, Canyon Hurd. And a junior, number 29, Cooper McClure. And a senior, number 35, Charlie Sessions and between the pipes today for the Braves will be AJ Hale to start this contest as the two teams high five and get ready for this matchup uh, coming into this matchup the Rock Springs Tigers are ranked third in the 4A West and the Braves come in in that sixth position after that loss to Evanston. If we look at some of the scores from around the state that's happened earlier this week as the both teams take the field. As we mentioned earlier, on Thursday the Braves fell to Evanston. Riverton went to Natrona County and lost two to nothing over in Casper. On Friday, Jackson beat these Rock Springs Tigers six to nothing. Cheyenne Central beat Thunder Basin four to one. Sheridan and Laramie ended in a tie two to two, and Campbell County came on out on top over Cheyenne South five to 
nothing. So Rock Springs making this western trip today or this weekend, seeing Jackson last night and then coming down here to play the Braves this afternoon. As we are just about underway here. Here come the Tigers. They'll be heading towards the north here. They come. They are in their defensive third right now. They'll bring it back up towards midfield. Good step there by the Braves. Good run there as Charlie is able to get back. That ball comes forward by McClure. He puts it up to Sessions. Sessions wants to go out wide to Crook. Crook will handle. He has time. Tries to give a give and go to Charlie. Charlie passes it back to Jaden. Jaden will play it up line. That's going to be too far, though, for Canyon. It will be a throw in coming for the Tigers. This could very easily be a matchup that we see at regionals. As we mentioned earlier, Rock Springs currently in that third position in the 4A West. And the Braves currently sitting in that sixth position. This one is taken away by Roberts. Roberts looks to send one up line. That's going to be knocked out by Rock Springs. Throw in coming for the Braves. Here comes Roberts, looks into Flores. Flores will two touch over to Thompson. Thompson sends it up middle to Bueller. Bueller has space. They're going to say that one clipped his forearm, and it will be a handball. Free kick here for Rock Springs. Center official will respot the ball. Here's Perez. Perez will instead go up front. Chip shot into the middle. That one's off the back of Hendricks. Hendricks trying to push it up. Not able to control. Here comes Hamilton. Hamilton has it. He'll drop to Mendoza. Mendoza back to the middle of the field. Quick run here. Good job there by the Braves as they had everybody marked and blanketed on that back line. Here comes Rock Springs. Able to get one through. They are going to call off sides, though. As that was a good play there by the, the defense for Star Valley as they pushed up at the last second, causing that offsides on Rock Springs. As that was about a dangerous situation for the Braves as we've only been three minutes into the contest and he almost had a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Crook was there cutting off the angles. Here comes Bueller. Bueller wants to run towards the outside, brings it back towards the middle. He'll take a one on the ground. That one's going to be easily fielded by the keeper for Rock Springs, Jared Para. He sends it up to the middle. Oh, beautiful job by Flores. Flores able to cut through, but has it taken back. The Braves are doing a good job of running quick to the ball as this match here has been pretty even in the early going. Rock Springs with a tad bit of a advantage on time of possession. Rock Springs last year where it was upset in the regional competition. Here comes Bueller. Bueller trying to sneak that one through. He gets it taken away. And good step by Hendricks. Hendricks controls, sends it out wide to Roberts. Roberts takes some touches in the middle. Sends a ball up to the center. It's taken away. Roberts still pursuing. They're going to say play on. Everyone stopped. I think they thought there was a handball there. High ball just towards the middle of the field. Thompson did a good job blanketing Termino on that one. Termino falls down, able to kick it back. Still possession for the Tigers. Tigers trying to bring it up line. Good step there by Crook. That ball's going to be batted out of bounds. They will say possession to Star Valley. Coach Spencer helping with the call on that one as he had a, a front row view for that. Quick throw in here by Hurd. Hurd's going to send this one just outside the top of the 18. That one's headed out. 
One in the middle by the Tigers. They want to run. Hamilton kicks it out. Good run by Benitez. Benitez wants to go towards the outside. He still has possession. Making a run towards that far side. He wants a chip shot in towards the top of the 18. Good job there by Hendricks. As Hendricks able to shield the attacker on that far right side, it'll be a goal kick coming for Star Valley. So far, Star Valley has the lone shot on goal. A shot on the ground by Christoph Bueller. Rock Springs has had some good possessions in their attacking third, but have not been able to put together a look at the goal so far. Here they come again. Oh, here's a good one. Here's Benitez again. Oh, on the ground. Good job there by Hale. Because he's able to cover it up and gets to the ball. But he gets hit in the head with a late slide by Mendoza. He'll get a, a talking from the center official. No cards, though. Just a warning as we'll play on. Hale's up and appears to be all right. Center official will drop this ball into play, and Hale has it for the Braves. AJ will put this one in towards the middle of the field. Two Braves there. No one able to win that, though, as it's going to bounce out of bounds. Throw in coming for Rock Springs. Mendoza tosses it into Vega. Vega trying to make a move on that side. Has it taken away. Here comes Bueller. Bueller at the top of the 18. Trying to make a couple guys miss. Trying to create some space. He's going to chip it over. Looking for Allred. That gets taken away. Here comes Flores. Flores able to somehow maintain possession. He barrels his way towards the top of the 18. And that's going to go against Flores. As they have already... Done the free kick and Rock Springs wanting to go quick, but Flores making his moves towards the top of the 18 he extends those arms, and they're going to call you on that every time as the Braves lose possession. Though that was a, a good look for the Braves, and I like to see that aggressive nature from Star Valley in the early goings. And that was some of what plagued them against Evanston on Thursday with the Red Devils scoring three goals in the first 22 minutes. And by that time, it was just too big of a hill for the Braves to overcome as they lost to Evanston 3-1. to one. And so it's good to see the Braves coming out with a little bit more intensity here in the early going and to find themselves not it, digging themselves into a hole and playing Rock Springs pretty straight up at the moment. Quick run here on the near side by Mendoza. Mendoza... Stopped as that ball gets knocked out by Roberts. Roberts able to clear it for the Braves. This ball goes quick into the box. Communication here by Star Valley as McClure steps up to take that for the Braves. Ball in the middle of the field by Vega. Vega drops it off as Rock Springs will reset. They want to go near side. Quick pass over to Benitez. Benitez works it in towards the middle. Here comes Vega. Chip shot into the middle. That's going to be on sides as the Braves are able to blanket the defenders. That was a close call. That was a, a beautifully placed ball by Rock Springs as that ball kind of checked inside the box and it became a foot race where the Braves had to decide, are we going to handle this with our back line of defense or is the goalie going to come out? The Braves elected to, to do it with their defense as Hale stayed back more with his heels towards the the goal line it ended up working out for the Braves. There was some contact in the box that some of the Rock Springs faithful wanted called. They essentially said play on as here comes Hamilton. Hamilton looking for a give and go, but step two by Hendricks. Hendricks wants to say that was last touch by Tremino of the Tigers. Not agreed to, though, was a center official. It'll be Rock Springs ball. They'll go quick left foot as this one comes off the back of Flores and cleared out by McClure. Good play there by Cooper as he saved it from being a corner kick to a throw-in for Rock Springs. Once again, Roberts 
pins this one out. The Braves have four subs ready to come in when it becomes their possession. Still Rock Springs ball at the moment as they are parallel with the 18. Here's a ball that goes deep inside the box and knocked out of bounds. This one will be a corner. As Rock Springs, you can see a little bit of their game plan is they want to go quick. They quickly set up at the top of the 18. All five of their runners are at the far post. They'll send some to both directions, but they will go far post. Good head there by Crook as he knocks it out of the 18. High ball as ball still not being won. Lots of red jerseys in the area. Finally, they clear it outside the box as here comes Roberts. He has some space on this near side. He wants to send a ball up line for Allred. That one is too far, though. Out of bounds, throw in coming for Rock Springs, but the field has been switched. Good hustle there by our ball girls this afternoon. Throw in coming for Rock Springs. They find themselves in their defensive third, chip ahead. Good control by Benitez. He's able to save that from going out of bounds, pass it back to Hamilton. They'll say that's too much contact against Sessions, though and it will be a quick free kick for Rock Springs. They want to work the outside on the opposite field. Rock Springs has it at midfield. Good step there by the Braves. Good job there by Jaden, not letting him up that far side. Good job there by Crook as Crook goes down as they will award a foul there, and the substitutions will come in for Star Valley if the center official sees them. They've elected to just play through it. Here's the ball. That bounces once at the top of the 18. And out of bounds it will go as we have 12 minutes left to play. Or we've played 12 minutes here in the first half. 28 minutes left to play as Star Valley is facing off against Rock Springs. Substitutions here for... The Braves is Archer Dugan subs in as well as Kyler Erickson. And it looks like Des Jenkins is in there as well. Here comes Hendricks. Hendricks has some time as he's going to let this one fly. Kai was wondering if that ball had enough momentum to carry on towards the back and result in a goal kick. It ultimately, it did not. He elects to boot that one out of bounds. But it looks like before that, there was an offsides call, and so it will be a free kick for the Braves. Ball goes out of bounds, throw in here for Star Valley. Here comes Dugan. He's got a run in Jenkins. Jenkins looking to turn, sends it back towards the middle of the field. Controlled. There's Tolman. Tolman has that taken away from him. Rock Springs on the attack. Good step there by Crook. Over to Tolman. Tolman makes a man miss up that far sideline. He's got room. Here comes Dallas. He's got a man in the middle. Oh, doesn't get a good connection on it. Oh, both players overrun the ball, though. Just cleared away by Rock Springs. They send that one into the frozen tundra behind the snow banks, which I'd like to report are a lot smaller than they were last week, which is a good sign Yay. that spring is almost here in Star Valley. Here, here's a ball towards the top of the 18. It's knocked away. Braves have some good numbers as midfielders are pushed up here. Let's see if they can link some passes together. Bueller trying to make a man miss. Good physical play, but has that taken away from him? Oh, and they will get a foul on Rock Springs as Herrera came up behind Bueller and kind of took that ball away. Bueller's got the leg to put this one on a rope if he wants to. Rock Springs sets up a wall. Center official remarks them. Favorable marking for the Braves. Here comes Bueller. Bueller puts one on the ground, hoping that they would jump. They did not jump as that ball gets tangled up in their feet. 
Here comes Crook. Good job there by the defense to push up and win that four-star valley. Dugan hard one touch. That one gets taken away and quickly cleared out by the Tigers. Benitez sends this one into the middle. Hendricks wanted to go out wide. Quickly taken away. Here's a run by the Tigers. Oh, good move there by Hendricks as he's able to cut off the runner, and it will be Star Valley's ball. Great job there by Kai as he was the last line of defense for the Braves. He took a great angle there and was able to cut off the attacker and then was able to tool it off his feet. So it will be Star Valley's throw, and here come the Braves. Rock Springs will take a long shot. That one is well over the top of the goalpost. Goal kick coming for the Braves. Number 13, Carlos Macias. Regionals this year will be played here in Star Valley with the state tournament once again taking place in Rock Springs. Last year, Rock Springs got upset in regionals and so had to watch the state tournament on their home turf without them able to play in it. I know they'd like to rewrite their script this year. Here's a ball outside the top of the 18. That ball is just being batted around, pinballed. Good pursuit here by Star Valley, trying to force a deep throw in, and they will. Good job there by Dugan. Here comes the throw in. Erickson will take that high ball into the box. That's a good ball. Oh, Tolman on the head, and it oh, just sneaks out. Good hands there by the keeper. But what a play there by the Braves as Erickson was able to put that ball high into the box. It gets pinballed around, and Tolman on that backside was right where he needed to be. Puts a good redirect on it and just knocked out by the fingertips of the keeper for Rock Springs. A little bit of push in the back there as Allred went up for the ball. Not able to redirect there were the Braves. Here comes the Tigers on the attack. Last touch by Benitez. Throw in coming for Star Valley. Jenkins will take this. He's got a runner up the middle. Two Braves in the same spot there as that ball is going to go out of bounds. Erickson will throw this one in. He gets a high corkscrew throw towards the top of the box. Good win there by the Braves. Jenkins trying to make a move. Benitez has to get around a few defenders. Deflected by Erickson, but the Braves not able to make anything happen out of the good defensive play. Good job there by, by Allred. Allred steps in and makes a, a heady play for Star Valley as he finds himself on the back of the turf. Bueller wants that lone man wall reset, and he gets it. Big kick here by Kristoff. Sends it into the box. Anybody far post? No. As just that ball just a little bit too hard for his runners on the outside. A little bit more air on that. They might have had a chance at a redirect. But as it is, that ball goes out of bounds, and it will be a goal kick for Rock Springs. The Braves have definitely been the aggressor here the last five minutes, which is something you'd like to see from Star Valley. As mentioned earlier, did not come out with much firepower on Thursday, which ended up costing them a crucial game against Evanston. This would be a, a huge bounce-back game for the Braves if they could find a way to be on top when that final buzzer sounds. As we are about halfway through the first half with 21 minutes left to play, here in Star Valley. Score still 0-0. As we mentioned before, Rock Springs comes in as a third-ranked team in the 4A West as they make the, a run down this near side. Looking towards the middle, he still has the ball. Good move there by M Macias. Macias tries to go inside, it's taken away. Benitez wants to clean up. Good job there by Thompson, trying to clear. Not able to do so. Quick touch by Herrera. Herrera wants to go towards the outside, now back to the middle. Braves are doing a good job of keeping there, of marking up and then keeping that ball in front of them. That defensive line has sure done a, a great job for the Braves. 
Oh, lots of contact there as both players go down. They're going to say that was even contact and let them play through. Good aggressive play by Jenkins for the Braves. Substitutions coming in for Star Valley. In for the Braves, Caden Roberts, Canyon Hurd, and Eric Isaacson. As Hurd, Isaacson, and Roberts all check in for Star Valley. Good throw here by Crook. Crook sends it up that sideline. It gets knocked away by the Tigers. Benitez wants to settle. Oh, good stuff there by McClure as he caught that ball right between his legs before booting it in towards the midfield. Quickly won away by Rock Springs. Benitez tries to go up the line. Hendricks is there. He's got a man on him trying to turn, able to turn it outside, but still out off of Hendricks. Substitutions coming in for Rock Springs. In for Rock Springs, Christian Perez and F. Tyler Davies. Davies and Perez check in for the Tigers. Tigers have the ball even with their box. They're going to elect to go short. Here's and quickly taken away by Crook. He wants to go up line. Good step there by Jenkins. He leaves it for Hurd. Hurd not able to handle it though. And is quickly swept away by the Tigers. The Tigers are yet to get a shot on goal in this contest. The Braves have two shots on goal. One by Christoph Bueller that was uh, on the ground for most of the duration of his kick as here come the Tigers inside the box. Oh, good angle there by Hendricks. He doesn't let anything come through, but it will result in a corner for Rock Springs. The other shot on goal came from Dallas Tolman as he tried to redirect with his head, and that one was saved by fingertips of the keeper for Rock Springs, which still results in a 0-0 zero zero tie here on Braves Field. Here comes the ball towards the top of the 18. Messias wants to go out wide. Here is... Hamilton, Hamilton trying to make a move. He does get towards the baseline. Runs out of room, though, out of bounds. And goal kick coming for Star Valley. As we've played 23 minutes and with Rock Springs with no shots on goal, that's just a testament to that back line of defense for the Braves. As you can see, there are some hands on hips for Star Valley as this last three minutes have definitely been dominated by Rock Springs. We talked about how the momentum shifts are so prevalent in soccer. It's been no different here this afternoon as it seems like teams, these two teams are taking turns of being the attacking force on the offensive end. The Braves could use a, a break on the defensive side and they will get it here as a free kick coming for Star Valley. We've mentioned before those back four defenders for Star Valley with their right and left defensive back stopper and the sweeper. They play the entire game usually as you've got Cooper McClure, Kai Hendricks, Grant Thompson, and Jaden Crook. Rarely do they check out for the Braves and they do a, a great job back there, but that's an exhausting job. And so far in this first 24 minutes, they could not have played a better match as they are, are pitch perfect pun intended here in the early going. Substitutions for Rock Springs. As Mendoza will check in for the Tigers. Still 0-0, zero zero, 16 minutes left to go in the first half. The wind has died down when we started this contest. It was pretty breezy out there for Star Valley standards. For Rock Springs standards, they would probably didn't even feel it because they were standing straight up. Usually in Sweetwater County, everybody just walks with a lean, depending on where that wind's coming out of. But that wind has died down as the flag is uh, pretty much at a standstill here at Braves Field. It's good to see the Braves come out with such firepower in the early going. I won't lie, I was a little bit worried when I saw the schedule and it said prom on Friday night with a Saturday afternoon game the next day for the Braves, but so far it looks like everybody abided by their curfews. 
that were set by their parents and Coach Spencer, and they've come out ready to play some good soccer this afternoon. Shout out to all those prom dates for making that happen. Here comes Benitez. He tries to bring it on that far side. He had three defenders on him as he goes down. Rock Springs looking for a foul call. They're going to say play on. It'll be a throw in coming for the Tigers. Nope, they will get that foul call as it will be a free kick towards the outside. This is a dangerous spot for the Braves as they are pushed out into the middle of the 18. Hale rubs his gloves together as he gets ready for anything here. This could be a direct kick or they'll elect to play it short. Trying to work through the defenders. Able to get through three of them but not through Hendricks. Hendricks will win that and left foots this one up line with a beautiful clear by Kai Hendricks as Rock Springs was able to break through that initial line for the Braves, but Kai in that sweeper position was able to step over and clean it up for Star Valley. The Braves communicate and they mark up. Good play there by Hendricks, still won by the Tigers though. Ball being played at the middle of the field. Good step there by Isaacson. Isaacson wins that one. He brings it up the near sideline. It's going to be out of bounds and throw in for the Braves. Good work there by Eric to be the aggressor to the ball as he steps through and wins that four-star rally. This one's out to towards the top of the 18. Isaacson heads it over to Jenkins. Jenkins wants to drop it off. Oh, good move here by Star Valley as Erickson made his way towards the top of the 18. Contact, and he'll go down. No call, though, as it will be cleared out by Rock Springs. Good job there by the midfield of Star Valley to get back. Oh, a little bit of miscommunication there for the Braves. Oh, that's a beautiful ball towards the outside. They have Bueller. Bueller, good first touch. He's got to make a couple guys miss. Not able to get around. Swafford, though, and he clears it for the Tigers. Looks like Kristoff got caught in between doing a couple of different moves there, and that ball just sneaks away from right into the outstretched feet of Jared Swafford, and he clears it for the Tigers. Stop the clock here. As we've got 12 minutes left to play, we've got an injured player on the field that looks like Isaacson's comes up a little bit gimpy. He will be able to walk out on his own power. Substitutions here for the Braves as Sessions and Allred check back in as well as Flores. I really do like that matchup of or that pairing of Flores and Allred. A big push in the back that will go uncalled there as Canyon Herd went flying. Here's a good win here by Thompson. Thompson tries to save it inbounds. It's still in play, good block there by A.J. Hale as he's able to get both feet or get his whole body in front of it and get on top of that ball. They elect to go quickly. Braves have numbers. Here comes Roberts. He has space up the line. He wants to send Flores further up the line. Flores was heading to the middle, has to swivel around, not able to get to this one. It will be a goal kick for Star Valley or for Rock Springs as we have 11 minutes left to play in the first half. Step two by Hurd, quickly taken away and booted into the middle by Thompson. Thompson up to Allred. Allred wants to go out wide to Canyon. Canyon sends it back to the middle. Sessions trying to turn. He's going to elect to play it back. Dangerous play as Hendricks has to go quick, but no one there. That ball is going to be last touch by the Braves. Throw in coming for Rock Springs. Rock Springs will make a quick substitution. Jesus Vega in for Rock Springs. Ball 
Ball towards the far side. Taken away by the Braves. Here comes Flores. Flores looks to settle. Oh, here he comes up the middle. He makes three three guys miss. Oh, he gets taken down from behind. And they're going to say no call there. As that looked a little bit more intentional than just feet getting tangled up. Here come Rock Springs on the other side. Contact there from the Braves. They're going to let both sides play through, which I guess if you're a fan of consistency, that is what we're getting here as physical play by both teams here in the early going. Just under 10 minutes to play. Roberts will boot this one into the box. High bounce and corralled by the keeper for Rock Springs. Give and go here on the far side. Good job there by the Braves. Triangle passing. Oh, that's a good ball up down the far side. Looking for a run by Allred. That gets taken away, though, and out of bounds. Should be a throw in coming for the Braves. Jenkins sends it back to the middle. Here's Flores. Flores wants to go back to Dez. He wants to go out wide, and that's going to be out of bounds off of Rock Springs throw in for Star Valley. Earlier in the match, Star Valley had a good opportunity from about this spot where they got to redirect towards the goal. Here comes Dugan. He elects to play it short. Not a lot of space there, but Flores able to win that. Just tries to send it up towards Allred in the top of the box, and that's taken away. Quick play here by Tremino for Rock Springs. Good step there by McClure. McClure will send that out of bounds as he gets a round of applause here by the Star Valley faithful as he was able to clear that one out for the Braves. The Braves able to push their midfield back. Here's a throw in from Mendoza. Mendoza sends it into the box and headed out by Hendricks. Mendoza again for the Tigers. Sets his feet, throws it inside. Here's Benitez, blanketed by Crook. Left foot. Oh, and picked up by Hale. Good job by AJ as he had that near post all covered for Star Valley. And Star Valley once again is pitching a shutout here in the first half. That's the first shot on goal for the Tigers of the afternoon, which really preaches to the job that Star Valley has done on that backside of the defense. Here's Crook. Oh, he gets taken out, but able to clear the ball first. Jaden gets up, appears to be okay, hands on hips, but will continue to stay in the contest. Here's a, a one hopper on the ground. Rock Springs winning those 50-50 balls right now. Strong step by Allred. They will let that one play through. Good job as the Braves look to counter. Here comes Flores. Flores on that near side. Tries to send a ball to Jesus just too far. Good job by the midfield pushing up as they're able to win that one. Strong touch by Tolman. Tolman wants to bring it back towards the middle. Sends it in looking again for Flores. No one there. Here comes Cooper. Oh, as he barrels right into him. They'll play advantage, though, as... Tremino has the ball, trying to make a move, able to get around Hendricks. Tremino one-on-one, -on -one. oh, just misses it wide. As he lays on the turf with his hands on his head, knowing he missed the opportunity there. What a beautiful move by Anthony Tremino as he brought it down this near side, able to get inside the box, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. AJ in good position, but with that far post wide open, Tremino misses it wide right. And the Braves will live to fight another day as the score is still 0-0 with six minutes left to play in the first half. That was easily the best opportunity that Rock Springs has had here in this contest as Tremino able to make a move to get around Hendricks. Here's a one. This one's going to go wide and above. And we're seeing a big momentum shift here as Rock Springs begins to pepper their way towards the goal here the last three minutes 
and I think that can talk a little bit about fatigue here by our back defensive four. Uh, we've talked how they generally play the whole game here in the last four minutes. They appear to be human as that first 34 minutes, they appear to be superhuman. Uh, Rock Springs has found some holes in that back defense that they've exploited, but at the end of the day, no goals have crossed that back line, and we are still tied up 0-0. Ball being played in the middle. Good step through by Sessions. Charlie trying to get control of it. Up to Bueller. Bueller wants to bring it back to the middle. Tries to get a touch towards the other forward. That one's going to get taken away. The defense quickly looks to push back. Good job there by the midfield as Session comes up to blanket the attacker. Here's a ball into the middle. Mendoza on the run and just wide. Good one touch there by Raul Mend Mendoza as he was making his run from the midfield. Was able to one touch that one with a pretty good look. It's going to go just wide though. Five minutes left to go, or four minutes left to go here in the first half. All Reds able to win that one out of the air. But gets quickly taken away by the Tigers. Tigers reset in their defensive third. Triangle passing as they look for an opening. Good step there by Jesus. Hendricks steps up, takes that one to the back. Looking for help on that outside as Rock Spring looks to switch fields. Here comes Crook. Crook thought for a second about turning that one upfield. Thinks better of it. Just clears it for Star Valley. Here comes Rock Springs. Oh, taken away by Jaden. Good job by Jaden Crook as he used some of that strength to stop that ball from progressing, then shields it with his body. And as he does so, the offensive player for Rock Springs uh, gets a little bit handsy, and they'll call him for the foul. Free kick here for Star Valley. Hard touch by Bueller. That one's going to go out of bounds. And Christoph tilts his head back. He he knows he wants that one again. Is that ball? That's not a typical Bueller play as he's usually pretty soft-footed on those receiving end. Here's a ball back to Mendoza. Mendoza hard touch looking as Hale will call off everyone. He'll pick that up for Star Valley with just three minutes left to play in the first half, Hale will hold. I think that's a good play for the Braves as they look pretty gassed in that defensive third. AJ will reset. Takes about 15 seconds and sends it up in the middle. Here comes Allred. Oh, he makes a man miss. He makes another man miss. Left foot. He's looking for a runner. Oh, and it did get stopped by Rock Springs. Still just outside the top of the 18. Good step by Sessions. The Braves have numbers. All red. This ball is still getting batted around. Not cleared yet. And finally, that's going to be a deep throw in for Star Valley. Good job there by Bueller, All Red, and Sessions as they are able to make some strong plays at the top of the 18. Throw in coming for Dugan. Dugan will send this ball high into the box. Step two and clears. Here's Termino. Termino's got speed. He's also got a runner in Mendoza. Mendoza will bring it up that near side. Tries to chip it ahead to Termino. Termino has it just outside the top to 18. He wants a right foot, trying to go in towards the middle. Good step there by Crook. That was a good job by Jaden to have his head on a swivel. Oh, beautiful move by Jenkins. He sends it up to Bueller. Bueller surveys. Oh, and that's just about how hard Kristoff kicks it as he trips up the defensive player, but he's just going to take it himself this time, trying to split through two defenders. He gets taken out there, and it will be a throw in coming for Star Valley. Short time here. Bueller recognizes. We've got a minute and 20 left to play. Kristoff sends a rifle into the middle of the field. Good chest trap by Jenkins. Sends it back to Bueller. Bueller has a man on. Limited space on that side. Doesn't matter. He's going to take it. Able to get around one. Now two. Looking for space. Got a left foot. Oh, runs into a third defender. Bueller trying to get it around as he comes up shaken up in the box. He is still down. As the ball comes back into play, as they will blow this one dead, as Kristoff comes up limping inside the box as he spent a good 20 seconds with his face down in the turf as he was making his moves around defenders. Oh, 
Bueller will, I imagine, will get subbed out. No, Christoph will stay in the game as they restart the clock with just 36 seconds left to play. High chip shot towards the top of the 18. Cleared out by Rock Springs. Here comes Sessions. Sessions has two on him. Tries to chip it ahead. Oh, good hustle there by Charlie. Not going to be able to win it, though, as Rock Springs has one more run in him. Two there for Star Valley. They'll clear that with just 15 seconds left to play. Termino grabs the ball. 10 seconds. Sends it in towards the box. High touch by Thompson. Still not able to clear are the Braves. But with just three seconds left to go, that will do it here in the first half as we will end our first half tied up 0-0 with some exciting action on both ends of the field. I would say that Rock Springs definitely were the aggressors the last 15 minutes or so, but the Braves matched them step for step in the first half in this 4A West matchup between Rock Springs and Star Valley. We're going to take a quick break and hear from some of our sponsors and we'll be back with more live coverage of Star Valley Brave Soccer. Have you checked out the most awesome Ford store in Eastern Idaho? We've been around for years. And we've got top awards in the region for customer service and satisfaction. We're Caribou Ford in Soda Springs. Right now we have the best inventory around and more on the way. Or you can custom order your new car or truck just the way you like it. We're Caribou Ford with the famous warranty forever. And we're still keeping it simple in Soda Springs. Simplot Smoky Canyon Mine is proud to be a large part of the Star Valley community. The mine supports local families with jobs and opportunities. Smoky Canyon Mine is a major supporter of community projects. Not to mention the phosphate ore that comes from the mine helps farmers and ranchers around the nation put high quality products on your kitchen table. Simplot Smoky Canyon Mine, bringing Earth's resources to life. To learn more, visit Simplot.com. Star Valley Disposal and Royal Flush Septic have been serving the local community since 1999, including residential, commercial, and construction. Star Valley Disposal and Royal Flush Septic is your company for all of your trash needs, along with septic pumping and portable toilets. For the dependable company that has a proven trust and reliability, contact Star Valley Disposal and Royal Flush Septic at StarValleyDisposal.com. That's StarValleyDisposal.com. It's sale time at Battleson Brothers Carpet One Floor and Home in Afton. Stop by the showroom located half a block south of the Elkhorn Arch and take advantage of carpet, pad, and labor for only $2.99 per square foot. LVP is also on sale with the product available for $2.99 per square foot. Battleson Brothers also has carpet remnants available. That's Battleson Brothers Carpet One Floor and Home open in Afton, just south of the Arch. Price, quality, service. Battleson Brothers Flooring. Star Valley Physical Therapy, a division of Star Valley Health, is committed to guiding you back to great health through effective physical and occupational therapy services. Star Valley Physical Therapy offers aquatic therapy to treat conditions such as arthritis, back pain, chronic pain, joint pain, sprains, strains, and much more. Aquatic therapy allows for patients to perform activities and exercises that would normally be too painful. Learn more at StarValleyHealth.org.
Whether it's staying in touch with family, entertaining the kids, or connecting with your favorite sports team, Silver Star helps unlock the moments you live for. Connect to what matters most without lag, buffering, or dropped connections. Visit SilverStar.com and discover frustration-free Wi-Fi from Silver Star today. I think being in a small town, you just really care and you take more pride in the work that you do because you're working with your neighbors. These are people that you see out in the community. You know, you see them at kids sporting events and parent teacher conferences and the grocery store. You know, these are our neighbors. One of the reasons that people also come back to us is they trust us because we are friends, we are family. And so I think there's a lot of trust in the community. I'm Dr. Mark Johnson from Riverside Dental. This has been another milestone year for us. To accommodate our growing practice and our growing community, we've recently brought on Dr. Jorgensen. His addition to our team has allowed us to expand our hours to include Fridays, making us more available than ever before. Here at Riverside, we provide a full range of dental services, including dental implants, wisdom teeth removal, same day crowns, root canals, and pediatric dentistry. Come join our Riverside family as we help you on your journey to a healthier smile. Live coverage of Star Valley High School Sports is provided by The Wright Company. HDC Siding and Gutters, no job too big or too small. Red Tail Therapy, strength for everyone. Call Ready Mix, located north of Afton. Miles Beverage, proud to sponsor Star Valley Sports. Quality Quick Loop, where quality comes quick. And by Star Valley Glass and Lock. Automotive, residential, and commercial glass. Hey, this is Duke and Dal, and recently we decided to do a little less broadcasting and a little more banking. We even made our own logos. The Bank of Duke and Dal of Wyoming is open for business. Ooh, we already got a phone call. Nice. Bank of Duke and Dal of Wyoming. You want to make a deposit? Yeah, we'll take your money. As you can see, our customer satisfaction is on the rebound. Bank of Duke and Dow, how can I help you? Oh, you you want to make a withdrawal? No, that money's gone. Who do you think we are? First Bank of Wyoming? <laughs> Jeez. Plan your next vacation to scenic Star Valley, Wyoming with a luxurious day at Kodiak Mountain Resort. Enjoy your own comfortable cabin with a soaking tub and top amenities. A hot complimentary breakfast is always included. Book your stay at KodiakMountainResort.com. At the University of Wyoming, ideas come to life. It's where the spirit of innovation and boundless curiosity fuel our hunger for knowledge. It's where the past meets the present and our students shape a brighter future. I'm a student athlete. I'm a musician. I'm a mentor. And, and I'm, I'm a, a cowboy. cowboy. The world needs more cowboys. My best friend just had a birthday party at the Fun Zone in Afton. It was so cool! We got to play basketball, ping pong, and foosball. We were able to bring our own Nerf guns and even watched a movie on a giant projector screen. For my next birthday, I want to have my party at the Fun Zone too. Mom said the Fun Zone will also work great for my sister's wedding reception in a few months and next summer's family reunion. For reservations, visit svfunzone.com. I'm Pace Owens. I'm one of the pharmacists at Star Valley Health. 
We are positioned very closely in Fusion and Oncology Center where we can help provide novel therapeutics to patients that come in for cancer, rheumatologic or other neurologic diseases and we help support you in getting the right dose at the right time under monitored care to help you on your journey back to health. For more information visit starvethealth.org or talk to your provider about a referral. B&H Auto in Afton has been serving the Star Valley community for over 10 years. With a qualified and trained staff, you can trust B&H Auto for brakes, maintenance, repairs, tires, and more. That's B&H Auto on the north end of Afton. Service you can ride on. Avail Valley Construction is hiring and a great place for high school seniors to enter the workforce after graduation. Multiple positions are open with competitive pay right out of high school. To learn more about a rewarding career for those of any age, visit availvalley.com. Your leader for live coverage of Star Valley High School Sports. This is the SBI Sports Network. Welcome back to Star Valley High School in this 4A West matchup between the Rock Springs Tigers and the your Star Valley Braves. We are all knotted up 0-0 zero to zero here after one half of play as the teams start to slowly meander their way back onto the field for this second half of play. The Braves have matched the Tigers step for step here in the early going as the Braves recorded two shots on goal with the Tigers having four shots on goal. Obviously none of those finding the back of the net as we are right back where we started, 0-2-0. Zero zero. It's a funny thing here in the sport of soccer when I talk about that it's been an exciting half with lots of action. And then you look at the score and it still says 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, there was a lot that went on, a lot of good runs, a lot of good team play. As Here's a dangerous situation in the early goings for Rock Springs towards the top of the 18. Oh, good job by A.J. Hale as he was ready. As the Braves come out a little bit careless there in the early going as Tremino was able to take that one away from Thompson. The Braves will need to pick that up here if they want to pull this upset. As was mentioned before, Rock Springs comes in with a record of 5-3 and three on the season. That will now be 5-4 and four as they lost to Jackson yesterday, 6 to nothing. But even with that, they are ranked as the third team in the 4A West. Good move here by Rock Springs. They want to go outside to Mendoza. Mendoza making his run towards the top of the 18, taken away by McClure. They're going to say that went out of bounds. Throw in coming for Rock Springs. Rock Springs will play it to Hamilton. Hamilton drops. Left foot into the box. Knocked away by Crook. Ball bouncing once on the turf. Here comes Allred. Oh, good step there by Flores. Up ahead to Allred. Allred has a runner on the outside. He makes a man miss. He tries to send the ball up to Hurd. And just a tad bit too far. Jesus claps his hands. He wants that one back as that one was just a tad bit too hard for a streaking Canyon Hurd. And Hurd has uh, plenty of speed. He's got more speed in his pinky finger than I've got in my whole entire body. Just not able to chase that one down for the Braves. Here comes Hendricks. Hendricks able to win that out of bounds. Off of Rock Springs, throwing for Star Valley. Hurd sends a high ball up line. That one's knocked away by Hamilton. Ball towards the outside. One by Rock Springs. Rock Springs looking to attack here. Settled by Benitez. Benitez wants to go out wide. Drop back, back to Perez. Perez looking for help. Good defense by Roberts. Roberts able to blanket him. Slip and recover here by Rock Springs. He sends the ball towards the top of the 18. Batted around by Rossi and Benitez. Rossi will win this as Rock Springs just kind of tooling around with the ball. Just inside their offensive third. Here's a chip shot towards the outside. No one there for Rock Springs. That one's going to go out of bounds. Deep throw in for the Braves.
Kirk will take that. He sends it up this near sideline. Here comes Allred. Allred trying to win this one out of the air. Tries to bicycle kick that one around. It's going to go out of bounds. Throw in for Rock Springs. Mark Hamilton takes that. He throws it a little bit too far. And it will be a goal kick for Star Valley with 36 minutes left to play in the second half. Still tied up. 0-0. Zero, zero. The Braves come in with a record of 2-6-1 and six and one, with a conference record of 1-5-1 and one, with their loss to Evanston on Thursday. Here comes a run by Rock Springs. That ball gets taken as he got sandwiched between two Crimson players. Here comes Sessions. Sessions controls in the middle. He'll drop it back to Roberts. Roberts on that far side. Makes a man miss. Brings it back towards the middle. Has some green grass over to Flores. Flores drops it over to Thompson. Thompson wants to go out wide. Good win by Hurd. Able to keep it in but goes out of bounds as Canyon a little bit frustrated there with that touch. Here comes Termino. Termino drops it to Rossi. Rossi has that taken away by Flores. Flores wants to go back towards the far side and that is once and again stolen away by Rock Springs. Good job there by Hale to come up and pick that up for the Braves. Here comes Bueller. Bueller gets a push in the back. He turns around. He wants a call. Is not going to get one though. Here comes Allred. Allred making a run. He's got Bueller in the middle. He wants to go towards the outside. Shielding is Allred looking for help. Step two by Roberts. Over to Sessions. Oh, beautiful move by Charlie. Charlie sends it to Flores. Flores has heard out wide trying to get it to him. As they go down, they will let that play through. That was a good slide tackle there by Rock Springs. As the Tigers are on the attack, that's a ball. Through ball is going to be a little bit too hard. Shielded by Hendricks and goal kick coming for Star Valley. Good play there by Kai to shield that. Good physical play here on that offensive third for the Braves as Flores came across. I thought that was a good clean slide tackle by number 12. William Hamilton, uh, senior defenseman for the Tigers. Here comes Benitez. Benitez making a run on that right side. Good defense there by Thompson. Thompson does not let him get around. Cuts off all the angles, and that ball gets deflected off of him. Throw in for Rock Springs. Here comes Termino. Termino heads it in the box. And cleared out by the Braves. Look at this by Allred. Allred wins the ball but has it taken away by Hamilton. Hamilton wants to go out towards the middle. That's off of uh, hand as they will f call this one. The center official will oftentimes wait to see if advantage is gained. Um, that was a pretty easy call. A handball off of Rock Springs as Bueller will take this from about midfield. Christoph will put a boot into this one. It's a good one. One hopper, but into the box and covered up by the keeper for Rock Springs. Here comes Rock Springs. Tries to go on that far side. Taken away by... The Tigers, here comes Mendoza. Mendoza will settle for Rock Springs. He wants to switch fields. He's looking out wide to Benitez. Benitez not able to save that one, though, as Star Valley looks to go quickly. But substitutions coming in for the Braves. Looks like Dugan is checking in as well as Tolman. Throw in for Crook. Crook's going to drop it to Sessions. Sessions plays it over to Dugan. Dugan trying to make a move on this side. Oh, good play there by Hamilton. They will save that. Comes back in and settles for 
the Braves. Good step there by Allred. He makes a good move up to Dugan. Dugan making a run on this near side. Shields around. He's got help back in Allred. Allred will curl around. Tries to send it back to the middle of the floor as, as that ball is taken away by Vega. Good play there from Masters. He sends it up for Rock Springs. Trying to make a move towards the middle. He drops it. For Masters, he makes a move towards that left side as he curls around, slips in the box. Oh, good shot there by Rock Springs. First one of this second half, but Hale there for the save. Rock Springs right now winning those 50-50 balls as we have played nine minutes here in the second half. Good win there, though, by the Braves. Ball goes out of bounds. They will say. They will say corner kick coming up for the Tigers. The Braves thought that they had tooled that one off of the feet of the Tigers. The center official will disagree as they will line up for the corner kick. Here comes a high ball towards the far post and covered up by Hale. Good job there by AJ as he was able to make that grab out of the air. AJ, a, a really good goalie for the Braves as he's playing both halves today as they've had a, a two-goalie system for most of the year. Here comes Bular. He wants a give and go. Oh, good pass back from Allred. Too hard of a touch, though, by Bueller as he puts his hands on his head again. You can tell he's frustrated. But the Braves will need Kristoff if they want to win this game. Comes back to Bueller. Bueller on the attack again. Contact on that far side. No signal yet. They will say a throw in for Star Valley. Bueller might have got away with a little bit of a push there as the Rock Spring faithful are voicing their frustrations with the non call. As substitutions will come in for the Braves. Ball just tied outside the top of the 18. Here comes Erickson. Erickson has that ball taken away. And Rock Springs is on the attack. It'll be two on three here as Rock Springs. Oh, good play by Crook. Jaden able to head that one, keep it the run at bay for a moment. Oh, and here comes Thompson. Good job there by Grant to win that ball and send it outside. 28 minutes left to play here in the second half. Still knotted up 0-2-0. Zero zero. Good job there by Jaden. You can tell he doesn't skip leg days as he sends that forward for Star Valley. Trying to get a win on it. Are the Braves not able to do so as Rock Springs will reset in their defensive third? Here comes Hamilton as he tries to make a move around. He has that ball taken away. Tolman on that right side wants to send the ball up line to Bueller. Just has to kick it out. It'll be a deep throw in coming for Star Valley. Here comes Erickson. Kyler will take this, sends the ball high into the box. That ball bounces once. Oh, redirected by Allred. And we have some, we have a Rock Springs player down in the box as Jesus went up high to try and redirect that ball on the cross. And looks both, both players will get up. They handshake, high five. Pat each other on the back, make sure everybody's all right. And we'll resume play here. And it will be a free kick for Rock Springs. This ball skirts ahead on the turf. Taken away by Jenkins. Jenkins trying to win. They will get Jenkins with the foul as Dez actively pushes off. You saw him extend those arms. That's an easy call for the official. 
and it will be a free kick for the Tigers. You just get the feeling that both teams are 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 due for a break of some sort, and this could be it for Rock Springs. They will say a handball. As what a beautiful ball by Tremino as he puts that up towards the 18, and um, that ball gets deflected down with an elbow as the center official signaled, and it will be a foul on Rock Springs. Free kick for the Braves. As I was watching it live, I was like, man, that was a lot of control off of that kick for him to get that ball to, to be placed directly at his feet. And now I know why. Because you can, you can have quite a bit of control there if you're using your hands. Good step by Hendricks. He sends it out wide and cleared. Rock Springs wants to go, and they will go quickly. Here comes Hamilton. He brings it back towards the middle. The Braves have done a, a really good job in the midfield today. I feel like when um, last week we we got beat in the midfield a few times, I feel like that could, must have been a, a, a series of emphasis for the Braves um, from that coaching staff because our midfield has come back and really won a lot of those 50-50 balls, especially on the defensive end. They've been back to to really help push the envelope for the Braves. Here comes a run by Herrera. Herrera tries to send it out wide. That ball gets taken away, but Hamilton, oh, pretty move there by Hamilton, and the fancy footwork keeps the ball alive for Rock Springs. Herrera again, he does a great job of getting low to the ground. He lets one fire. That ball is deflected off the back of Hendricks and picked up by Hale. AJ will push out towards the top of the 18. High ball. Good step there. By Rock Springs, able to win that one. Oh, as those two players go down, they will let them play on. The ball stays inbounds. Good step there by McClure as he's going to go down. They're going to say out off of Rock Springs. Substitutions for the Braves as Hurd will check back in. Roberts and Isaacson will also check in for Star Valley. This ball being played in the midfield. Step two by Eric. Oh, they are going to get a foul on Rock Springs as it will be a free kick for Star Valley. Let's see what Bueller elects to do. He's got the leg to put this one on frame if he wants, or he could do a chip shot into the box. Here comes Bueller. He elects to go at the goal, and that one is wide and outside. And... To be honest, not really close as it will be a goal kick or a yeah, goal kick for Rock Springs. 23 minutes left to play in the second half. This year there was a rule change, so they no longer do overtime minutes in the 4A class. So if it were to end in a tie, then that would be the end, and they would call it a draw for the day. In the 3A class, they went to penalty kicks. So anytime it ends in a ends in a draw, they immediately go into penalty kicks, five for each team, and there will always be a winner and a loser, uh, which which I would love to see. To be honest, I, I am by no means a soccer purist, but man, I think penalty kicks are a lot of fun. As here comes a corner kick for Rock Springs. Here's a high ball. Oh, just over the outstretched head of that Tiger as Benitez wins it on the outside, sends it over to Hamilton, but quickly taken away by Isaacson. Isaacson making a move up that near sideline. They will say handball. Good job there by Eric as he's come in off the bench and really provided a spark for Star Valley today. I feel like he's he's done a, a really good job at winning some of those 50-50 um, balls, and if you know Eric, you know that he's a he's a ball of energy to begin with, and you're definitely seeing that here in this contest. Ball in the middle to Isaacson. Isaacson hard touch, looking for Jenkins too far, and taken away by the Tigers. Here's a good ball up to Herrera. Herrera will make a move. Oh, good step there by McClure. McClure will win that one and keep it in bounds. 
before it slowly trickles over that gray line and the throw in coming for Rock Springs. Obviously Star Valley uses this field for their football field as well, so we've got we got lines all over the place here. Here comes a ball by Jenkins. Jenkins sends it up to Isaacson. Isaacson tripped up, sends it to Hurd. Hurd's gonna back tap to Erickson. Oh, back to Canyon. Canyon one touches this, sends it on frame but out of bounds. Or on frame but covered up by the keeper. And it will be cleared out by Rock Springs. Here's a high drop kick. That bounces several times before finally going out of bounds as Benitez not able to turn that one upfield. Throw in coming for Star Valley. Good throw there by Crook. They move it up 20 yards. Let's do it again. Here comes Hurd. Hurd wants to send it up line, finds open space. Oh, Jenkins is going to have time on this one as Hamilton not able to control. Sends it in the middle of the field to Bueller. Bueller's got numbers. Up to Isaacson. Isaacson chips ahead. Hard touch, trying to control, not able to do so. Here comes Roberts. Roberts sends it back to Bueller. Bueller, oh, hard touch. That's got to be a handball. And I do believe that was in the box. Stop the clock here as... That handball comes in the box. This should be a, a kick for Star Valley. Huge break here for the Braves. Let's see if they can capitalize as that shot by Bueller finds the outstretched hand of a Rock Springs Tiger. Bueller will step this one off as Para for the, the Tigers gets big in the goal. The fans in the stands start to rattle. Here comes Bueller. Oh, he puts a top corner. That ball was rising, but just in time. Finds the back of the net, and it's a goal for the Braves as they strike first in this critical 4A West matchup. In the 60th minute, Christoph Bueller finds the back of the net, and the Braves take a one to nothing lead over Rock Springs. Good shot there by Christoph. Uh, I won't lie, though, that made me a little bit nervous. Obviously, Christoph knows a thing or two about accuracy, but he stepped up confidently as he gets a high five and an attaboy from Coach Spencer. As Bueller will take a little bit of a break and some fresh legs will come in on offense. Good shot there by Christoph as he finds the top right corner of the net on that penalty kick. The Braves go up one to nothing with 20 minutes left to play here in Star Valley. This is a high bounce, gets over the head of Hamilton for a second, good win there by Hurd. Hurd wants to go back, reset. Over to Flores, Flores one touch to Jenkins, looking for give and go, here come the Tigers as they are on the attack. Herrera's through ball though, it's gonna go too far and it will be a goal kick for the Braves. You saw how Rock Springs is looking for that equalizer and that counterattack, and I imagine we'll see a lot more of that here in the last 19 minutes of this one. Here comes Flores. Flores at midfield has that taken away by Hamilton. Ball comes ahead to Perez. Perez sets it up to Macias. Macias trying to come back towards the middle. Here comes Herrera as he sends it out wide behind. Canyon, Canyon stays on the turf for a while as he, his outstretched foot found nothing but air as he'll take a seat, recollect, and here comes a throw in for Rock Springs. Hamilton will take this. He sends the ball up towards the top of the 18. Here's Herrera. Herrera trying to bat that one forward. Good defense there by Star Valley to play physically in the box but without fouling. Here's Benitez as he gets tangled up with Crook. That'll be a foul on Rock Springs. Here comes Star Valley. The wind starting to pick up a little bit as that flag is is fully out now. Oh, big push in the back there. That was an easy call by the center official as he was right on top, stop the clock as I think we've got a card coming for all red. 
as there must have been some words said to the center official as Christoph Bueller will check back in as a yellow card goes to Jesus Allred in the 62nd minute. Um, here comes Flores. Flores will put this one. Oh, that's a good ball just outside the top of the box. Race towards the outside. Who's that going to be off of? They are going to say Rock Springs ball, last touch by Star Valley. Yeah, it's not very often that you see the the foul get called on one team and the yellow card given to the other team. But uh, in situations like that, it's usually something that has been building. It's not just a one-time, one-thing said, but it was probably a over a series of events and the center official has had had enough and pulled out that first card of the game. Here comes Perez. Perez sends a ball up line looking to Herrera. Herrera gets low, turns on the Jets, almost towards the top of the 18, but cleared away by Hendricks. Outside the first three minutes of the second half where Rock Springs was really ag the aggressor, I would say it's pretty comfortable to say that the last 15 minutes or so have been played on the Braves' offensive half. Um, and that shows in the score as the Braves are up one to nothing. But we're seeing now a little bit of a momentum shift and resurgence by the Tigers as their sense of urgency has heightened here as they find themselves down by a goal. Oh, Jaden Crook, just a magician in that left defensive back position. I don't know how many times he sends defenders forward without the ball and he comes out the other side with the ball as he's just done a, a wonderful job for the Braves. Here comes Thompson. Oh, good job there by Grant to clear it and it'll be a throw in coming for Rock Springs. Benitez throws to Herrera. Herrera trying to make a turn, not able to turn that corner. Here comes, oh, good step there by Roberts, but still possession won by Rock Springs. Hamilton dancing around out the side the top of the 18. Here's one slow roller on the ground and covered up by Hale in true soccer fashion. Adds a little bit of dramatics at the end. Hale sends it towards the right side, and that ball is not able to be won out of the air by either team. We'll take two hops and head out of bounds. Deflected out again, throw in for Rock Springs. Star Valley has some substitutions ready to check in at their next possession. Here comes Herrera. He's showcased his speed all day as he's able to get inside the box again and just cleared out by Star Valley. That's been a move that Herrera's done frequently but he may want to recheck his spikes because he's been slipping all day on that left side. Just hard to get his traction on the turf. Here comes a corner kick for Rock Springs. They will play it close as they also have runners set to both posts. Here comes good defense there by Crook as he's covering both sides of the field now as Jaden all the way over to help with that near pass as he retreats back. Right foot here. That one's going to be covered up by Hale. Good move out by AJ. As was mentioned before, right now, as the standings show, this would be a, uh, a matchup you might see at regionals as Rock Springs comes in as the three seed. And right now, Star Valley the six seed. The way that regionals works, you've got the seven seed will play the two seed, the number one seed. In the West, we'll get an automatic buy in that first round and an automatic bid to state. And then two through seven play for their chance to go to the state tournament. Unique matchup here is regionals will be held in Star Valley. And then state will be held in Rock Springs. So both teams hosting postseason events this year. As Crook steps to, he's got a man on, sends it back towards the middle. 
Here comes Flores. He plays it out wide, but taken away by Rock Springs. Through ball here. It's easily covered up by Thompson as he'll send it out of bounds. Due to the lack of facilities, though, here at Star Valley, the two seed and the seven seed will be playing up in Jackson for regionals. All the other seeds will play here on this Braves field, but the two seed and the seven seed will make the drive up the canyon to Jackson to play on those Thursday contests. So especially if you're the Braves, you want to stay out of that seven seed because that would be a major bummer to, to get that host regionals and then still have to travel. With a win today, the Braves would be in a good position to stay out of that, though. Oh, hard hit on the sideline as Flores went tumbling. Good to see him pop back up so quickly. Uh, but they will call the foul there. You see the center official hesitates a second to see if advantage was gained by the Braves to play on, but they will say that advantage was not gained, and it will be a free kick for Star Valley. Twelve minutes left to play in this one. Flores will take this, puts it up. Looking for Aura. That ball has some backspin. Hamilton will settle. Sends it up to Benitez. Benitez wants to go up line. Oh, what a play by Flores. That's a dangerous slide tackle. They're going to let that one play on, though. Here comes Aura. Aura trying to get around. Center official explains to Hamilton what he's seeing. As he motioned that there was a little extra as they stopped the clock here. So just a second as Benitez was sitting on the turf, they will, if they have to stop for a player who appeared to be injured, then they do have to get subbed out. Coming in for the Tigers is number 23, Tyler Davies. As he will take that right wing position. Here comes Bueller. Bueller wants to chip shot this one. As that's going to be too far. As I think that was the right idea by Kristoff. Just needed a little bit more touch. As he had runners on that far side. Rock Springs looks to go quick here with just 11 minutes left to play in the second half. The Braves clinging to a one-goal lead as the play here has gotten more and more physical as the contest has gone on. I think the center official has done a pretty good job at monitoring that and being consistent on both sides. Here's Hendricks as he's able to turn this outside. Throw in coming for Rock Springs. They want to go quickly. Step here by Hamilton. Hard touch. Able to get it back. They will award a free kick. Oh, on the redirect off the post. And saved by the Braves. Oh, my goodness. What a free kick by Rock Springs as they get a head on it towards the far post. That one's going to boing right off it, though. A game of inches. And good job there by Star Valley to... I didn't see exactly who it was. It might have been Sessions on that back side who was able to, to blanket the defender or the attacker and keep that one out of the goal. That was a, a heart-in-your-throat moment for Star Valley fans. As this ball gets past Hamilton, it's got Bueller. Bueller's got two defenders to beat. He's going to try and take one here as he goes down, and he is hurt as his touch got away from him. Rock Springs will have an advantage here as they will stop time for Bueller as he went full on into into the uh, sliding defender and it looked like he had full momentum going into him as they're going to bring the training staff out to look at Kristoff here. Let's take a quick break and we'll be back with an update on Bueller as well as coverage of Star Valley Brave Soccer.
Network returns now with more live coverage of Star Valley High School Sports. Welcome back to Braves Field as we have under 10 minutes left to play in this one as Christoph Bueller was helped off the field by head coach Trevor Spencer and the athletic trainer uh, Kelly as he will be attended to on the sideline. Um, but he was able to put pressure on both of his legs as he walked off, which is a good sign for him and for the Braves. Uh, but they will probably have to play without him the remainder 10 minutes. Here comes Jenkins on this near sideline. As that will be a foul on the Braves. Nine minutes left to go. Left foot by Perez. Perez sends it outside the top of the box. Batted outside the box again as Termino trying to turn that ball inside. Not able to do so. Cleared away by the Braves. One in the midfield by Rock Springs. Rock Springs on the attack. They find themselves down by one goal looking for the equalizer. Here they come again inside the box. And cleared out by Hendricks as Hendricks will send that one into the high jump pit here at Star Valley High. Corner kick for Rock Springs. He will move the flag, which I don't know if you can do as he quickly replaces it. Here's a ball. Oh, far post and deflected. Oh, as they are, the Rock Springs faithful are pleading to the center official. They thought they saw a handball in the box. As it is, they will do another corner kick. But I'll tell you what, these last two corner kicks have been awfully dangerous as they've gotten good redirects each time. Here they come again on that far post. Redirect. Oh, A.J. Hale picking cherries from the tree. As AJ plucks that one out of the sky and saves the Braves. As that one looked like it was heading top corner. AJ's got some good length in the goal. Able to grab that one. And the Braves continue their quest for the upset win over Rock Springs. Right now clinging to a one goal lead. Here comes Thompson. Thompson just wants to clear that ball. Switching the field. Hamilton sends it up to the middle. Hard touch by Flores as that ball checks up and has some backspin. Allred giving pursuit. Here comes Herrera. Slips again, trying to get around three. Not able to do so. Here comes Sessions. Sessions always plays with good pace. Good job there by Charlie. Sends it out to Roberts. Roberts trying to chip it ahead. Gets knocked away and won by the Tigers. They've got three on four back. They want to send it out wide. Good step there by Roberts. They'll send it again to him. Caden has some time and space. Oh, good job there by Caden. He has a patient run up line. That gets taken away by Rock Springs. Ball being batted around in the midfield. Oh, good job there by the Tigers. Send it up to Termino. Termino wants to go out wide. Nobody home, though, as it will be a throw in for Star Valley. Substitutions coming in for the Braves. Six minutes left to play. Hurd will check in for Dugan. Braves get the whistle. They want to go up line. Here's Hendricks. Gets taken away by the Tigers. Tigers trying to make a final push here with five minutes left to play. Finding themselves down by one. The Braves found the back of the net in the 60th minute on a penalty kick by Christoph Bueller. Oh, this ball is still inside the box. Crook has to clear it, but it is going to be a corner kick for Rock Springs. Several swings and misses for the Braves. That will result in a corner kick. Rock Springs' last two corners have been awfully close as they've gotten a good redirect on it. This one, oh, is going to go wide and out of bounds. Throw in for Star Valley. Good ball, though. That's right what you want to do if you're hitting a corner kick. You want to send that in about the height of the, the top of the post 
so that it comes in with enough force that if you were to get a redirect with your head, it, it can have enough force going forward um, with that momentum. So it was a good ball. That one just goes off the top of a Rock Springs player's head and goes out of bounds on the backside. Braves need to keep attacking, though. Here comes Jenkins. Jenkins sends a long ball as Rock Springs keeper comes all the way out, has a bit of a mistouch over to Bueller. Bueller wants to back tap this one to Roberts, but too far and cleared out by Rock Springs. This one goes off the back of the head of Thompson to Crook, and Crook is going to clear it here for Star Valley. Four minutes left to play. Rock Springs goes quickly. Here comes Hurd as Hurd sends it up to the middle. Hurd trying to make a move. Good job there by Canyon. Clears it out. Throw in for Rock Springs at midfield. Benitez trying to steal 20 yards. Center official tells him to come back. He's able to break through a couple lines of defense. Good job there by Crook as he shields lots of contact on that far side as Benitez and Crook goes down. As the crowd gets a little bit restless as the physical nature of this game picks up. You hear a little bit more chatter than is common. Here comes Mendoza. Mendoza brings it out that far side. He sends the ball back into the middle. Step two by Hendricks. Hendricks sends it. Oh, good job by Kai keeping it in. Bueller checks up. Good step there by Kristoff. He's able to win that ball. It's off to the races. He wants to send the ball into the middle over the head of Hamilton, but unfortunately over the head of Allred as well. Nobody on that far side for the Braves, and that ball will go out of bounds. As we tick under three minutes left to play in the second half, Braves still holding on to that one goal lead. Here comes Hamilton. He sends it into Benitez. Benitez has that chipped away. Termino wants to send it back up to the middle. Hendricks gets on top of that ball, sends it back into the offensive third for the Braves. Hurd checks it over to Allred. Allred goes flying. Good step here by Sessions. Sessions is going to send that out as the Braves look to prevent this last two minutes. Good step there by Jenkins. That ball goes up line out of bounds. Throw in coming for Star Valley. Two minutes left to play. The last 10 minutes or so has been all Rock Springs on the attack. The Braves appear to be in prevent mode. Here comes Allred. Allred wants to go out wide to Bueller. Good to see Kristoff back in. Here comes Kristoff on that far side. He's got a man attacking behind. He wants a long shot. This ball is going to take one bounce and then into the arms of Para for Rock Springs. He has a long bomb out down that right side. Double head forward. Here comes Herrera. Herrera making a move on that left side. Left foot. Oh, covered up by Hale. Herrera was able to create some space on that left side, puts a good strong left foot towards the near post, and it's covered up by A.J. Hale, the keeper for Star Valley, who has had just an outstanding game, being in the right place, the right time, all afternoon with just 60 seconds left to go. Can the Braves hold on? That ball headed out by McClure. Throw in coming for Rock Springs. Urgency in their step as they send this ball up line. Herrera goes down. Here's a ball towards the outside. Looking for a right foot. Good stop there by Thompson. Here's Benitez. Benitez wants to work in the middle. Falls down, able to get back up. Benitez wants to go out wide. He's got Tremino. 38 seconds left to play. Tremino brings it up the right side. Oh, he sends a right foot. That's deflected off the back of Jenkins. Headed out by Roberts. Ball comes inside the 18. Covered up by Hale. 22 seconds left to play. AJ's going to put a high ball. That ball is going to go. They're going to say it stayed in bounds. Good hard kick by Jenkins. Jenkins with six seconds. Over to Bueller. Bueller has that taken away. Hamilton's got to go quick, but it's not going to do it. Left foot, doesn't matter. That's the game.
And the Star Valley Braves will come up with a huge upset victory over the Rock Springs Tigers. As that was an exciting one. The difference in this one is a goal by Christoph Bueller in the 60th minute off a penalty kick as there was a shot on goal that was deflected by a defender's hand for Rock Springs. That resulted in a penalty kick that Christoph Bueller put in the top right corner and that proves to be the difference as the Braves come out on top over Rock Springs. As we mentioned before, the Rock Springs Tigers came into this contest with a record of 5-3, and three, putting them in the third position in the 4A West. With this win, Star Valley will go to 3-5, and five, and Rock Springs will drop down to 5-4. and four. But with the loss to Jackson yesterday, that will actually put Rock Springs at an even 500 as well as 4-4 four and four in the 4A West. Just huge implications as we as these teams are fighting for seeding in the 4A West Conference as they prepare for regionals here in a few weeks. But it's just a great game by both squads. But the Braves come out on top with a one to nothing victory over Rock Springs. We'll take a break and hear from some of our sponsors and we'll be back with live coverage of the girls game which will 